welcome back. We are in the last lesson for this unit and we'll be taking our test coming right up. So today is lesson 11, scales without units. And our learning goal is let's explore a different way to express scales. So a map of a park says a scale is one to 100. So what do you think that means? Well, what that means is one unit on the map represents a hundred units in the park. Now we don't know what that unit is, so could we say one centimeter to one hundred centimeters in real life? Yes. Could we say one inch to a hundred inches? We sure could. Whoops, inches. The units are just the same when you're not given a unit. So now I want to know, give an example of how this scale could tell us about the measurements in the park. Well, let's say we got a path. And on the map, it is six inches long. So actually, how long is it? It is 600 inches long. Alright, let's say the park on the map is 20 inches on the map. So actually, the park is going to be 20,000 inches. Alright, so next we're going to do um, an activity using the Apollo Lunar Module. And um, I'm going to include a link on um, the lesson page that you can go look at the actual pictures of the Lunar Module. and. Hopefully I can find something that actually shows when they landed because it was really cool. It was in 1969. I was in 6th grade, so I, I do remember this happening. Um, it was in black and white. It was real blurry, but it was really cool to be able to, to see them step on the moon for the first time. Alright, so the legs of the spacecraft are its landing gear. Use the drawing to estimate the actual length of each leg on the sides. Write your answer to the nearest 10 centimeters, and we are using a scale of 1 to 50. Notice there's no unit there. Alright, so if I take my ruler, and they asked us to do centimeters. So that tells me the easiest thing for me to use is centimeters here so that I don't have to convert um, inches into centimeters. So I am going to measure this in centimeters. So that is approximately 6.5 centimeters. And I'm going to go back to using that table that we used yesterday. So I have the drawing and the actual. My scale is 1 to 50. And when I measured it on the drawing, I got 6.5 centimeters. So I need to know how big was the actual. Well, what did I do to this? I multiplied it by 6.5. So I'm going to come over here and multiply this by 6.5. And that's going to give me 325. So, and they want to the nearest 10 centimeters. So this is approximately 300, whoops, 330 centimeters. And if we, they had asked us to convert it to meters, that would be 3.3 meters. So that's how tall the leg was. Now it wants us to use the drawing to estimate the actual height of the module to the nearest 10 centimeters again. So I'm going to measure it in centimeters, go back to my table. My scale is still 1 to 50. So if I measure from the top 
right here down to here I get 14 centimeters so 1 to 50 my 